I've just been to Essex for a few days visiting and wasn't going to vlog, but you know what I'm like, I just can't resist. So stay tuned for some footage of Flatford Mill, the old Runwell Hospital and Billingfield Bike Meet and of course some lovely villages and towns of Norfolk, Suffolk and Essex. This is the absolutely beautiful medieval village of Lavener. There's been a settlement here since Anglo-Saxon times, but it really rose to prominence in the 15th century with its war trade. Unfortunately, that took a downward turn in the 16th century when the Dutch settlers came to Colchester and produced cheaper clothing and material. There is over 300 preserved buildings here, and I just think it's stunning. put some footage of Rayleigh in because this is where I went to senior school. This, all round here, is where I ran cross country. And because I tell everyone every time I go past, I'm going to tell you too. That on the right is my school, but it was just called the Rayleigh Swain. turf on this bit. Can I see in through the windows? Oh, oh. just a parquet floor and pretty rotten and desolated. Oh well. It's for rent if you want it. It'll make a good community hall wouldn't it? Community space for this place that's here. Gosh, there's a St Luke's Park Primary School. It's even a primary school. Um, over there, straight ahead, those grey buildings. That's like a cafe and shops now. And that used to be the roundabout, where after a shift, we'd come out and they'd congregate and have a quick debrief and either head home or over to the social club for a few drinks. Just going to go off now and try and see the main building, which is a listed building with the green tower over there. And that was part of the agreement they couldn't knock that down so the front bit is still standing there's also an agreement about the laundry rooms i think or some sort of tower that was built in the 1920s that couldn't be knocked down it was listed but somehow or other they got away from it the boiler house i think it was the boiler house is gone all the walls are gone our roundabout's gone I just hope it's a nice community here in the way it was a nice community when it was a hospital. The main building is open. I'm going to try and sneak in. I do believe it's apartments now, but I'm going to try and have a little look. I don't think I'm going to get away walking in with my helmet on and my GoPro. So, I'm just take my camera, my phone with me. Someone was asking on Facebook the other day what this was like now, so I'm going to try and find out. The old steps are still here. This is it, this is where it ends. So, just apartments, I guess. These are all offices, and we used to carry on through here to 
the switchboard and so there's not an awful lot of it left through here to be shops a canteen a great big hall <sighs> all change i think that would have been about where the switchboard was and we've walked through the main hall used to be along here we used to have lovely great big shows the rada the runwell and drand oh i loved my runwell days so that's it that's all that's left of the front building nice to see though that our roundabout where we used to go for our debrief in fact it's probably a little bit further than the roundabout it's probably where heron ward was and wren but it's a coffee shop now so it's still being used for a catch-up open so I'm gonna sneak in get a quick peek and use their loo. Right, I'm in the back bar hasn't changed much apparently there were plans in to rebuild this but they haven't got round to it post covid and there's a lovely man here who thought I was coming to join in the line dancing class 1 30 every Friday it would be great fun but I lost my purse the other day so I have no cards and I have no cash hmm it might have been fun watching me trip over my feet. I can't get in the social club front bit because it's locked. But even the toilets are the same. Due to traffic, it's going to take me three hours to get home. So I decided to go to Sudbury because it would take an hour and five to get there and it would take me an hour from home that way. But then I missed my turning at Forum. So now I'm stuck in the traffic. Uh, two and a half miles to the Hatfield turn off. It'll take me 40 minutes to get there. Ah! Time to strip off and sunbathe then. The Hatfield Pevril turn off was chocker, so I've decided to stay on the A12 and just push for home. Apparently, these road works have been here for years, 0.9% complete. Delay is possible until summer 24. August. Summer's nearly over. I need a little break so I came off the A12 at East Burkholt to go to Flatford which is where John Constable painted the highway at Flatford Mill. There is disabled parking which I'm very happy about. to try and get a photo in front of there without incurring any abuse from anybody and in the cottage they have a wheelchair and a few bits of bobs to read and see and it's free the boat hire is closed at the moment but i've just come here to show you the famous bit save me walking over there I'm just gonna have a quick look in here though at the constable exhibition. Oh, trust me to do it all back to front. I mean, it's not like me really, is it? This obviously shuts at four o'clock, the constable information. But the tea rooms don't shut till five, so I should have come here first. But never mind. I've had my little wee. I am rehydrated and I'm ready to now yeah, rock and roll. Hopefully the traffic is now cleared. 
If you're enjoying this vlog, then please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. If you press the little bell, you get alerted every time I upload a new movie, which is quite often nowadays. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so by pressing on the link in my bio or the description below. Thank you. I just met some really lovely people at the Flatford Mill, a gentleman and then uh, a couple with their three kids from London. It's so fun, you know, to put a smile on people's faces, but they put a smile on mine too, and I love it. I like this. No A12, coming straight out onto the A14. Happy, happy days. home in Halston just been to get a few little bits to eat for my tea I have to say although the bike meet was quite small it was probably the friendliest one I've ever been to so thank you for everyone that stopped to talk to me I've really enjoyed it just one thing left to say all together now ta-ta for now <laughs>